And this is where we will begin our trip, Bushwick Avenue. And this is Jamaica Ave uh, Bushwick Avenue. And this is where we're going to go up there, up the hill, to begin our trip. We walked about a block, really nothing in this area. Industrial, some old, old home storefront churches. Definitely is not, it's a, uh, right now it's about 10.30 oh, in the morning. Actually, it's Thanksgiving morning, November 26, 2009. And it really isn't the place that you would want to be late at night. There's not much going on now, but you get the feeling that this really is, is a bit of an impoverished area. So we will continue up this hill. And this is uh, Bushwick and Highland Boulevard coming out of the park, park slash cemetery. Across the street, there's a lot of cemeteries in this neighborhood. And on this side is the uh, maintenance corporation for the, uh, the J, the M, and the Inline. Farther up the hill, you hit a, uh, some gas stations, Wash and Lube, Popeye's Chicken. And this is Bushwick and Conway. And uh, another opening to a cemetery. Uh, this is the Evergreen Cemetery. Uh, mostly businesses, some rundown, rundown uh, homes to my right. Nothing to brag about. The building down there, I see a, a statue. I don't know if it's a maybe a church or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd have to look that up. Uh, not, not sure. I want to go down there at this time of day with so few people around. But obviously, uh, there are a lot of mansions on Bushwick Avenue. This could be one of them in the olden days. And here we are, Bushwick and Granite, to my right. Some neat old row houses. Probably back in the day, they were, it was really nice. They're still well kept, so I can imagine how nice they were back when. And over to my left, we probably was another grand building in its day with that steeple of sorts and the ornamentation. However, uh, maybe powder blue isn't the best color. Uh, and then you also have cars parked on the sidewalk. But let's let's carry on. And now we're approaching Piling Street, and we see our first set of new buildings, a gray and uh, green structure just to accommodate all the influx. Uh, Bushwick Community Health Center. So, well, this is just across the street from the community center. We're all pretty cool houses. And right next to it's a new structure. You can tell the difference. Oh, and look at this one here. Oh, this is lovely. This is really old. This is at Moffitt. Oh, and this is for sale. If anybody's interested, look at that. That is one old house. You don't see too many of those. Let's go in for a closer look. This is the back of the house. There's a church over there. Side. This is Moffitt's side. Oh, it's pretty cool. It doesn't really look too bad on the outside. A little TLC to fix this up in no, no time. But boy, you could really change this into. Wow, look at this. Very nice. And over here we have, uh, and it's right next to the church. You got an empty lot. Look at that. It's really nice. stone fireplace. And then here you have St. Thomas Church, so you know it's always going to be a nice quiet area. You do see a lot of for sale signs here. But wow, look at these. These I bet were really grand in their day. Look at that. A lot of ornamentation. That old one across the street, but that's an old one. And you know, another thing about this is the sidewalks are in really bad repair. You had to keep your eyes on things, or you're going to fall and break your neck. It's at the corner of Weirfield, another church, Holy Tabernacle Church of Deliverance. And across the street is Church of God Prophecy. And across the street, we got really. All right, we're coming up on Jefferson Street, Jefferson and Bushwick. And I have to say, I've been walking maybe 15, 20 minutes, 25, and if still have not found a place that I would consider appropriate for me to live in. 
So if anybody's thinking of coming to Bushwick to live, we keep moving. Now we're at the corner of Cornelia and Bushwick, and this is the Beth Bethesda Memorial Baptist Church. Church. And good sized church, and there's another structure with a cross on my right. This is the Salvation Army, Salvation Army Corps. This is what this building is. Oh, Jehovah Witness across the street of Putnam. Happy Thanksgiving dinner from noon to three. And this is the United, United Methodist Parish in Bushwick Church. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of churches, a lot of churches here. Here we are at Gates Avenue, and this is the Ridgewood Masonic Temple, which we will go take a look at. And uh, so this is it. And actually, last night they actually had a. Uh, we're filming a movie here. Uh, what's the name of it? Can't remember. But it's got a slew of famous people. So they were at this. It may still be in use. I'm not sure. It's definitely run down, but I think it's still in use. So this is the Masonic uh, Richard Masonic Temple. Now we're at the corner of Bushwick and Linden. I got really a, a cool building here on my left. Um, it seems to be well maintained. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a private re residence or some sort of community, but I tell you, if this building was in Brooklyn Heights, it would be worth a ton of money. All right, that's one of the mansions. That's another one. Really nice. And that's another one, probably the biggest of the three. Lovely house. Wow, take a look at this. This is a cool old church. Now oh, look at this one. Very nice. It's old. This is old. Look at that. It goes back there. There's another building for rent. Uh, for rent. It must be for sale. He uh, wants to live there. And at the corner of Bushwick and Stockholm, at the corner of Bushwick, Bushwick and Stockholm, we have the Bushwick Leaders High School for Academic Excellence. In black and gold, and it's called all eyes on Egypt. It's a bookstore. Uh, and quite frankly, it's kind of creepy to me. Now, this is where we'll end at Willoughby, Willoughby and Bushwick. And we're ending here for two reasons. Number one, it is Thanksgiving and I want to go home and have some turkey. And number two, it's a natural, it is a natural stopping point because we have the overhead elevator line. This is the Cook Mansion. The Cook Mansion. Let's go around to the side. It's the Cook Mansion. Some angry dogs there. A birdcage up there. I don't know if anybody lives here, but it was the home of Dr. Frederick Cook, who claims he was the first man uh, to get to the North Pole. His doubt, his, uh, many people did not believe him. Subsequently, he was put in jail for fraud uh, and died in the 1940s. But sometimes during the course of his life, he lived at this mansion. Thus, it is called the Cook Mansion. Still gets mail. I guess somebody's here. Place is a mess, and it's right next to a uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So, this brings us to the conclusion of our tour at Myrtle and Bushwick Avenue. I'm going to hop on the train, go home, and get some turkey, and we'll pick up this at a later date. And just to get a shot in Bushwick Avenue, and this is the Cook Mansion.